Yo, what's up, bro? You know why so many people are struggling to get developer jobs? Because they are lacking self-awareness. Self-awareness is that thing where you know where you fit in this space, in this whole ecosystem, okay? And the reason why I'm talking about self-awareness is because not many people have it. A lot of people think that they are better than they are, including myself. I think that I'm better than I am, but in reality, I'm not that good. That's why I don't have million dollars in my bank account. That's why I don't have thousands and thousands of subscribers is because I'm not that good, right? But I have a self-awareness and I understand where I make mistakes. I understand that my English is bad. I make grammatical errors. I cannot pronounce words correctly. And I'm turning off people, right? This is me working on myself and being aware of my issues. But probably I have even other issues that I don't know about. And you as a self-taught developer, look, I just made a mistake, or a bootcamp graduate that is trying to get into this space. You are trying to get into a six figures career. You are lacking so much self-awareness and you are so entitled and no wonder why you are not getting a job. No wonder why you are stuck with so many problems that you cannot solve because you don't even know where you fit in this whole space. You are just doing some stuff randomly without having an idea about what is the end goal. Like how far am I? And the reason why I'm making this video is because yesterday we have like a team project that we are working on, okay? And we have every Tuesday a, a team meeting where we discuss the project, right? And then we finished uh, the entire meeting, you know, after 30 minutes and everyone was like laughing, laughing, blah, blah, blah. And then some of the guys started interviewing without me letting them kind of interview, right? So they just went ahead and started applying, right? And then I was like, okay, let's see what you guys are made of. Because last week I have started asking them interview question, questions, okay? And they all failed. If you guys that are so good are failing at this, imagine how bad you are. Or imagine how bad a bootcamp grad is. And that made me feel like, holy shit. Like people don't understand how bad they actually are, right? And then now I started to make some changes in the program. So every single day we have like Q and A calls, right? They have to do some stuff and then they can come in in the Q and A call and they can ask questions. And now every single day, no matter what level you will be or what my student is, after they finish with their questions, right? So they ask the question, I'm gonna give him the answer or her, then I'm gonna ask an interview question, right? So I can start preparing them and then to make them better. And then if they fail, I just thought about this, we'll have a special day where I'm gonna give them special homework to pass, okay? So if you fail an interview question, then you'll be given extra homework and you have to do your own research and you have to make a presentation to show some con concept, okay? But then like, look, if you, if you take anything from this video is that you need to develop your self-awareness. You will start applying, right? And then you get no interviews, no interviews, no recruiter calls you, you like, like you get ignored completely. So what do you do? You blame the recruiters or do you have some self-awareness to look at your resume and to realize this shit? Then you get a bunch of interviews, but you cannot pass them. So you start blaming everyone but yourself. But if you look around, if you apply for like 10,000 jobs and you are the only one who doesn't get an interview, the common denominator between all those applications is you. If you fail all the interviews, who is at fault? The interviewers or you? Because you don't know how to answer the questions or because you're not confident enough or because you have a problem with your speech and people cannot be bothered to like let you, you know, speak. You need to start being self-aware. Because it's so easy to blame everyone and everything and to say, oh, like things are bad, the market is down, blah, blah, blah. It's so easy to do that, right? It's extremely easy. Like it's about, I'm about to say that it's quite lazy. But then if you develop that self-awareness and you start to look at yourself and you start to see how others actually see you, you'll just get so good so fast. If you start treating yourself like you are your own coach and you are just this body that you are making do stuff in the world, I guess, like you are playing a, a game with a character, then you'll be so much better than if you just rely on your emotions and how you feel about things, right? Because it's so easy to feel bad and to be like, oh, I need some space for my mental health. What, how do you ha even have mental health issues. I read this stuff online. How do you have mental health issues when you 
do the fucking work. See what is the problem and work on that thing. Because trust me, if you spend all your time working and improving yourself, you will not have time to have issues, right? Like the biggest, I had semi-depressions or whatever, but I never labeled myself as depressed. Like things weren't working out the way I wanted. Like the best way to get out of something like that is to do more work. So you don't think about that bullshit, okay? You ignore the problems by doing the work and if you do the work, the problems will be gone, right? So in order to do the work, you need to identify what you're doing wrong. Like, have you ever spent five minutes just looking at everything you have? And have you ever considered that you are not doing the right thing? That you are not as good as you know you could be? Like the world nowadays is full of people that have different dreams. You are one of them, right? You are one of those guys that wants to work remotely. You want to have a safe and stable job. You want to be always challenged intellectually and you want to create stuff because you always wanted to do that. You always wanted to get into software, but for some reason you ignored it. And now like a little Bambi, you want to get into this industry and you want to make a lot of money and get all the benefits, right? That's pretty much the pitch that you would say, right? I know everything about you because I've talked with thousands of people like you, okay? So that's you. And then you come in like the rest of the other bots, right? And you do the same thing as everyone else. And then you get the same results as everyone else. You are not a good, nothing special about you and you expect to get so much in return. It can be any of you, not necessarily. It can be if you are one of my students and you're watching this, that's you as well, okay? The world and any kind of field that you want to get in is super populated, okay? There are so many people in any field you want to get into, trust me, so many people. Right? Because nowadays with the internet, anyone can do anything pretty much. But what you don't understand is that just 10% out of those all people that want to do the specific thing will actually get paid. And the reason why is because they are self-aware, right? They know what the problems that they have are and they are actively working on it. So you don't just get better what you are actually good at, you get better at what you are not good at. That's how you become a, a rounded person, a rounded developer, and that's how you get paid. I actively work on different things in my life, right? Right now, I kind of fixed a bunch of things on one side, but now I realize, okay, my program is pretty good, but it's been like a while since I've recorded some videos. And even though there might not be new information, I just have to redo it to make it better because I might improve something, right? Either I can add a new concept in, I can fix this, I can fix that. Maybe I sound more confident, right? Your confidence is also important, right? If you have self-awareness, you realize that the way you say things is as important as saying things. You know, I have some videos where I'm like, like dead and the engagement is pretty low. But now I'm a bit more animated, so I can say hi, or I can say hi. It's like a different thing, a different vibe, right? Maybe I scared a little bit, I hope so. Same words, but different vibe. And when you go into an interview, for example, you can sound very unconfident. How can I say? What's the opposite of unconfident, of confident? I guess lame. You can sound lame, say something, and the person that is on the other side of the screen is gonna get that vibe from you and regardless of how you said it, it's gonna be like, hmm, I don't feel like I connected with this person. And you'll get punished, <laughs> you'll lose the interview because of that. So not only you need to know the, the thing, okay, you also need to be confident about it. You need to be like that guy or that girl that inspires people and people want to be in your presence, right? And that's part of you being self-aware, but also a social person. I've been very lucky, to be honest, because when I was a barista, I had to work with a lot of people, right? I had to give them coffees and whatnot. 
in order for me to get more benefits from my boss, I had to learn how to sell shit, right? So whenever someone was buying a coffee, they were also buying a croissant and a muffin. So I was selling everything. And then my boss was letting me do whatever I want, AKA letting me study a little bit, letting me get the morning shift so I can study in the evening, etc., etc. So then I took that and then I used that in my interviews, okay? Then I started interviewing more and then I, I pretty much, I think I failed just two interviews in my entire life because I've been good at that, right? Started this video in one way and then I ended up in another way. Point is, I want you to develop this self-awareness and understand where you are, what's your baseline, because if you do not figure out your baseline, you won't be able to improve, right? Because at every single step, let's say there is one to 10, right? In terms of like self-awareness or like skill, at every single step, you need to work on different things. And if you work on the wrong thing at the wrong time, well, you'll build a weak foundation and you'll get nowhere and you'll be stuck in a cycle that will never break. And then you'll be unsuccessful. That's my rant. I hope you liked it. If you want to become a developer really fast, apply for a free consultation call. Links in the description. See ya.